hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 again to the power of x equals 12 now when you have a problem like this you think about the first step to take now I can add what I have on the left because they are the same thing or better still we factorize 2 to the power of x because it belongs to the two terms here we have 1 plus here again we have another one and this is equal to 12 if you open this bracket it will give you this back 2 to the power of x times 1 is 2 to the power of x then 2 to the power of x times this one will give you the same thing now 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 is equal to 12 because 1 plus 1 is 2 now we divide both sides by 2 here remember if you do the same thing on two sides it will not change the equation 2 to the power of x is equal to 12 divided by 2 is 6 our next target is to get that um, um, the value of x right and we cannot express 6 in this form so what we'll do is to take the log of both sides log of 2 to the power of x equals log of 6 now if this is the case then there is something about the power if you have log a to the power of b this is the same thing as b log a meaning that the power will go behind the same thing happens to x as we have x then log 2 equals log 6 since we are looking for the value of x we divide by log 2 and then divide this by log of 2 this will go here and now our x is log 6 divided by log 2 but we can simplify this because 2 is a factor of 6 we can write that as log 2 times 3 then we divide by log log 2 okay if we continue from here then our x will be if we are multiplying the log will be the addition so we have log 2 plus log 3 then all over log 2 and again mind you this log 2 the numerator the denominator here is for both numerators okay so we are going to split it in this way okay so from here now x will be log 2 over log 2 plus log 3 over log of 3 over log of 2 right good so that this will go with this now x will now be 1 plus log 3 divided by log 2 now we will apply change of base to this because um log a over log b is the same thing as log log a to base b so we will apply the same thing there and we now have x to be equal to 1 plus log 3 over log 2 is log 3 to base 2 so from here now we have the value of x but mind you if you want to have this in decimal form you can have it by pressing your calculator to get log 3 to base 2 and there are some calculators that are not scientific enough they're not scientific enough to give you log to base 2 if it cannot you now write log 3 divided by log 2 it will give you this value now let us verify like i always do we'll verify our result the equation is 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals some um, 12 right good now our x is the whole of this and i'm going to type into this so we have 2 now into 1 plus 
log 3 to base 2 then plus again we have 2 into 1 plus log 3 to base 2 if we add this now are we going to have 12 that is the question because we're having 12 on the right now we will apply one law of indices that if you have something like m to the power of um, a plus b this is the same thing as m to the power of a times m to the power of b so if this is the case that means that if we have this as well we can express it in this form so this will now be expressed in this form as we have 2 to the power of 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of log 3 to base 2. This is for the first term there. Then plus what we have here is the same as this. Therefore, this will be the same thing to what we have here. We now have 2 to the power of 1 multiplied by 2 to the power of log 3 to base 2. Okay, and there's a law again that says if you have from um, b to the power of log a to base b, this is the same thing as a because log to base b here will cancel this b, log to base b here will cancel this b, and a becomes the answer. So, in that case, these two to the power of one is two, write it first, then multiply by. Um, 2 to the power of log 3 to base 2. Log to base 3 will cancel. Log to base 2 will cancel this 2. So we have 3 there. Then plus, remember what I said before, that what you have here is the same to what you have here. Therefore, here again, we still have that 2 multiply by this and this will cancel and we multiply by 3. Now, the next thing you're going to do is to know how you apply your um, board mass here, right? 2 times 3, this is times, this is times, this is times. So which one do we do first? What if we do 3 plus 2, we get um, 5, then multiply. That would be wrong. So it has to be this times this, which will give us 6. Plus, we'll go over that, 2 times 3, that will still give us 6. Then 6 plus 6 is 12. And um, it is the same 12 we had on the right-hand side of the equation. You can see it over there. Okay. And then this is what we got right here. So this means that our x equals 1 plus log 3 to base 2 satisfies the equation.